tell a friend to tell a friend that do it all hollers in. And we're back with another NBA 2K23 next gen build video. And today I have a special two way inside out combo guard build for you guys. And when I say this build is crazy, this build will be able to finish. You get the contact dunks. I add some standard dunk to the build so you can get under the rim and finish really good. You can shoot lights out, no problem with that. You have Hall of Fame quick first step on this build, gold needle thread, and you can play defense. So make sure you watch the video to the end so I can show you guys how I created this masterpiece. We are going to shooting guard position, the hand of your choice, and the jersey number of your choice. Let's get it, man. But before I go any further, you already know what time it is. If you don't know, now you know. It's your like button time, and I need you guys to hit that like button. Let's pump it up to 60 likes. I've been saying 50 for the longest, so let's go to 60 likes for this video. And hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. But this build, we're going six foot three. That's one of the best heights in the game, hands down. I don't want to hear what nobody got to say about it. I know for a fact that six three is one of the best heights. One ninety eight on the weight, seven foot wingspan, built body shape. Let's get into the build. We're gonna go ahead and start with the finishing because this build can't finish, and I want you guys to have some fun out there on the small build because the small builds are really, really fun. You know, with the speed and athleticism that they have, it will allow you to do certain things that a lot of other builds can't do. For the close shot, we're going to take that to a 76, okay? And that will allow us to get fast twitch on silver, as you guys can see. We really want that badge. Um, it's very important once you get under the rim, man, and pump fake and stuff like that, you go away faster than everybody else so you can finish really good. For the driving layer, we're going to get that up to an 84, and that will allow us to get gold acrobat, and we get an extra badge. That's why I did it. Go Acrobat is really good this year. Acrobat in general is really good, so I would advise you guys to add that badge to your build. On the driving dunk, we're gonna get that up to an 86, and that will allow us to get um, slithery, I mean, um, limited takeoff on gold, okay? We also get posterized on silver, and that's very important. On the standing dunk, we're gonna get that up to a 45, and I really like standing dunk on my six foot three build because when I get under the rim, most people will think I'm going to lay the ball up, but I really do go up and dunk with those standard dunk animations, and all you really need is a 40. I just took it to a 45 for the hell of it. And as you can see, we do get 20 total finishing badges. And of course, we want to use limitless takeoff, slithery, posterizer. That will be 7, 13, 19. We'll go with fast twitch on silver. That will be 23. We'll go with fearless on silver. That will be 27. All right. So as you can see, you get 20 badges right there. And if you want to throw in acrobat, badge, you may need to ask for extra badges. But if you core limitless takeoff on gold, that's a plus seven right there. But if I were you, I wouldn't try to core limitless takeoff on gold because it's going to take too long. So I would add one badge to my finishing and I would core posterizer or slithery. All right. And that would really get you what you need a lot faster. But let's go ahead and get to the green bean. Make your girl scream badge. And this bill can't shoot, no doubt about it. So for the three point shot, we're going to take that up to 86. And that will allow us to get some good three point shooting on this bill. Everybody want to shoot threes. Everybody should have fun shooting threes. So. I gave this build an 86. For the mid-range shot, we're going to get that to a 75. And the free throw is a 71. And as you guys can see, we do get 21 total shooting badges on this build, right? So with those 21 badges, I would go with Claymore. I would go with Corner Specialist. I like Slippery All Ball. And if you are a smaller build, Guard Up is a really good badge. For the smaller build, it does activate. So that's a badge you can add. We also would use Green Machine. I really like that badge. Amp, Catch and Shoot. And I would probably come over here and use Limitless Range. Um, I really don't use Blinders, Agent 3, and Dead Eye. If I was to use a badge that has something to do with somebody contesting my shot, it would be Blinders, man. Dead Eye is just not what it used to be. So I would go with Blinders if I had to choose between Dead Eye and Blinders. But let's go ahead and get into the south. But before we do, I need you guys to do me a huge favor, right? Go down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button, and let the video play to the end because that will push the video to the recommended page so everybody and their mama can see this video. And I need everybody and their mama to see the video. So do that for you, yeah, boy, boy. On the ball hand, I took this all the way up to a 90, man. I want you guys to unlock some of those dribble moves. I wanted you to have that Hall of Fame quick first step, even though you get at 89. But a 90, as you can see, it give us an extra badge. So, of course, we want to take that. For the speed with ball, we're going to get that up to an 82. For the pass accuracy, of course, we have to get that up to an 86 to get the name that we have. And as you can see, we get 25 total playmaker badges, which is a really, really good number, man, to have 25 and, you know, be able to get all the badges that you need, like Anchor Breaker, you need that. Needle Thread, of course, we're going to put that on gold. Um, diamond, you know, you can go bronze, silver, whatever you want to do with that. Quick First Step, of course, we're going to put that on Hall of Fame. We're going to go with Unpluggable on gold. We're going to go with Hyper Drive gold. Clamp Breaker, throw that on gold. Handle for Days, we're going to put that on silver. And I know I said a lot of badges, but the thing about this small build and 
the the amount of playmaker that you have if you are able to core two bags in one category I would do it for the playmaker so you can get everything you need. You will be able to help your teammates out and you can help yourself out with all the badges that you can get with the playmaker. And I really want you guys to go out there and have some fun. Passing to me is fun. Get my teammates involved is really fun. But when I need to score, I will score. And it's just that simple. And every point guard should think like that. You want to pass first and then you want to, uh, you know, get your own shots and stuff like that. Unless you have to go out there and score for your team. But let's go ahead and get it to the defense and the rebounding badger, right? So for the perimeter defense, we're going to get that up to an 87. And that will give us the two-way name. That's why I took it to an 87. Um, you do get an extra badge by taking it to an 87, so that's really good. Uh, for the steal, we're going to take that up to an 85. And that will allow us to get silver interceptor, silver glove. And oh, by the way, we got silver clamps. I forgot about that. But I've been noticing, you know, with small bills, um, it's best to try to get that clamps up to gold. You know, because you can stay in front of people, don't get me wrong, you can slow people down. But I just been experimenting with my small build and I see that silver clamps is okay. You know, once my takeover come on, it really, really helped me out. But I think gold clamps would be really good on a small build. So the next small build that I make, I will try to gold clamps out. On the interior defense, we're gonna we're just gonna go up on its own. We're gonna take the block up to a 68. As you can see, the interior defense did go up to a 38. And that will allow us to get silver chase down artists on this build. So you will be able to block some shots. Don't think just because you short that you can't block shots, man. You can get up and block some shots with this build. I do it all the time with my build. On the rebound, we're going to take the defensive rebound into a 68. Not saying you're going to get a lot of rebound, but you can help your, t your centers out or whatnot and jump up there and get you some rebounds. So with those 23 bags, I would go clamps, intercept the glove, all on silver. That's 18. All right. I would come over here and go with chase down artists. That's 20. I would go pogo. That's 21. Uh, me personally, I throw in rebound chase. That's 22. I throw in box on bronze. That's 23. And I try to get minutes. Okay, so once I'm able to call a tier three bad, there'll be a plus six, so they'll put me at like 29. So I'm able to get everything that I just called out and get minutes on this bill. Minutes is a really good badge. But look at the combination: 20, 21, 25, and 23. Not bad. Now a lot of people still may disagree with this, but I think it worked. Uh, 90 acceleration, 75 speed. On my small build, I got a 95 acceleration and a 75 speed. So that will work, and I know this will work too. On the strength, we have a 37. Vert is a 75, and the rest is on stamina. And I've been noticing something with my stamina. I've been I've been having it at a 90, uh, but I took it up to a 95. I'm going to start taking it up to a 95. But let's get it to the takeover. So we have finishing, sharpshooting, playmaking, and big lock. Okay, we're just going to choose something for the video. Me personally, I like the lock over, lockdown takeover for this build. Um, you can choose what you want. That's up to you. Are you ready? Because I do not clickbait. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Now, we do have shades of Deontay Murray, John Starks, and Anthony Edwards. Okay? And the build name is a two-way inside-out combo guard. That's the build. Love those that love you. And I'm out of here. Like last year, y'all. Ciao!